Okay, so this is Piano One, King University. This is for the week of February 9th. Nothing really new, just one thing. Uh, in, in your handouts on page 26, if you follow the lesson plan, always follow this lesson plan and <clears throat> line it up with your uh, music. So this week will be, very simply, page 26. That's the new one. You will review page 25, mirror reflections, all of that. But page 26 is new. So let's look at page 26. You're in the key of F. So you put your thumb and your right hand on F. Spread them out. <clears throat> Left hand pinky on F. And again, this is where the fingers play at the same time. So in five plays, that five. Four, three, two. <clears throat> it's a contrary motion for the most part. So the right hand uh, is in three, four, so you count one, two, three. One, two, three. One, don't forget the B flat. And then back, C, B flat, A, G, Same thing. Here's the difference right here. One rest. C. So it's a scale going up, scale going down. Uh, it's just watch the rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Always count when you play and always practice slowly. <clears throat> what I've been noticing over the weeks now is that the people who are having trouble, they play just too fast. you got to slow down. One, two, three, one. Just slowly, very slowly. Left hand is the opposite. So the left hand is playing uh, down, descending. So the left hand is C, middle C. C, B flat, A, G, F, two. Now back up. This is while the right hand is going down. Same thing. The difference right here is rest, F, rest. That measure is rest, F, rest. I'm on the second line, third measure. Then you play up the scale. One, two, three. Rest, two, three. Together, it sounds very slowly like this. the contrary motion, the right hand going up, left hand going down. Now the right hand will come down, the left hand will go up. Same idea, but watch. Second line, one, two, three, at separate times. That's how that goes. It's moderato, medium, even if you play it uh, full tempo, it's not fast anyway. Copycat <coughs> has, has, has an overlapping line. So the right hand is playing an octave higher now. It's playing up here, C, D, E, F, G. So when these, when these new notes come up, you have to simply learn them. There's, there's no shortcut. There's, there's no secret. You just have to learn C, then it's D, then it's E, then it's G, then it's F, is E. You just have to learn them. Somebody asked me about fingerings, if the fingering's not there. Well, if it's not there, it's where your hand is. So I have covering C, D, E, F, G. If a G comes up, it's a pinky. <clears throat> if an F comes up, it's a fourth finger. If the E comes up, it's the third finger. Just don't, don't move your hand. Once you move your hand, then you have a problem. So the right hand is <clears throat> scales. It's all scales. One, two, three. Then you have a measure rest. <clears throat> you start on G and you play descending. So listen to that again. C, D, E. Rest, two, three. E, two. Rest, two. Now the full scale five finger scale. And 
the hand separately are very easy when, when you put them together. The problem is overlapping, you'll see in a second. Look at the left hand, <clears throat> it says copycat, so your right hand played, the left hand plays, right hand plays, left hand. It'll just be copying each other. So here's the way the left hand sounds. C, D, E, <clears throat> rest to G. Second line, now a scale. Something like a round, <clears throat> something like a cannon. <clears throat> Excuse me. The, uh, the right hand starts, then the left hand overlaps. Right hand. Left hand. Now the right hand starts its skill ascent, and the left hand comes in on a second measure. Listen. So this, as soon as the E is sounded, it's playing with the C. G. Everything now is, is going to sound harmonic. It's not going to sound <clears throat> a unison. So here's the whole thing. One, two, three, one, two. pretty hard uh, with that one but that's all there is for the week so you shouldn't have any reason not to be able to do it <clears throat> so everything's a, a, a review for the February 9th week and you're just adding the waltz and copycat I want to go over the C and D scales uh, or certain aspects of it with you because some of you are having troubles you must look at the music if you're having trouble because the fingerings are there if you look at the C scale uh, on the scale sheets You'll see the fingerings are there. One, two, three. You must cross your thumb here. When you finish four, then you cross again to one. And all you're doing is playing these um, these notes another octave higher. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Coming back is five, four, three, two, one. Never skip a finger. I can't tell you how many times I've seen it in the last two weeks where someone will play five, four, two. You can't skip a finger. <clears throat> five, four, three, two, one, three. You save the four for when you reach the octave. So that's a review of the C scale. Left hand, <clears throat> five, four, three, two, one, which is the same as the right hand coming down. The right hand coming down was five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. <clears throat> the left hand is five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Got it? Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, down. Mirror image, your hands are just backwards. So the left hand is five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, cross to four. So you have to put them together, and the way you do it is you play slow. As soon as you get to the E, you see you have a third finger, you should match in your left hand, third finger. Cross. When you get to A, third finger again. When you get to C, it's your thumb. This crosses over to four. Third fingers are always together. Third fingers are always together. So, practice that. You already have it on, on a, a previous video. <clears throat> but now, I'm showing you again because the, uh, uh, there, there are lots of mistakes. Be because some of, you, some of you are trying to do this. You're trying to play too fast. Play slow. Slap the keys. Get those fingers to slap the keys. <clears throat> now, the arpeggio... Most of you get the right hand correctly. One, two, three, cross under. One, two, three. Backwards, five, three, two. One, three. So that's not a problem. One, two, three, reach. Don't do this. I see this a lot. Don't do that. 
the left hand is the problem because many of you are playing 5 3 2 1. It's 5 4. I see this a lot. Uh, tons of turning. Just put your fingers on the notes. That's all there is to it. Put your fingers over the notes. If you do that all day, you'll never miss a note. So 5 4 2 1. Cross the 4, you play 4 2 1 again. 5 4 2 1, 4 2 1. Same thing. Uh, I did the chords with you, I don't need to do them again. Lots of you had trouble with the C minor scale, you shouldn't, because the C major scale, same fingerings, but you flat the 3rd, 6, and the 7th. There's nothing uh, very difficult about that. You play C minor. Don't play out here, so you have to reach in for the black keys and come back out. Just stay in there. Play in the keys, in the keys. <clears throat> You'll practice that. Now, <clears throat> I do want to look at D major. We're staying with, with, with D a little bit. I'm going very slowly with these scales. <clears throat> D major <clears throat> excuse me, is the same exact fingerings. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. There's nothing new about the fingering. You've got to learn that F is sharp and C is sharp. Left hand, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Same thing. So C, D, E. They're all the same thing. So you must learn C first, perfectly, perfectly by default. Then you can add D with no problem. Now here's, here's where the problem came in this week. When you play D arpeggio, one, two, three, one, two, three, just like C. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. But the left hand is not four, it's five, three, two, one, five, three, because the white note is elevated. Now when it's D minor, you lower it. Then it's your fourth finger. Five, four, two, one. Major, five, three, two. Uh, for those who are having trouble with chords, simply play the major chord. First, third, and fifth of the scale. To make it minor, you flat the third. To make it diminished, you flat the fifth as well. To play augmented, D, F sharp, A sharp. So M, small m is minor, circle is diminished, plus is augmented. D6 had a big discussion with someone, one of the students, <clears throat> the other day, that 6 means first inversion when you're doing music theory. And that's not so when you're playing chords. As a matter of fact, music theory inversions, 1-6, one, 1-6-4, six, one, six, 5 7 five, six, five, you'll never see them in actual pop jazz, show tunes, it'll always say D6. It means to add the sixth note of the scale, not inversion. So one, three, five, six. Minor six, you lower the third. Major seven is the first, third, fifth, and seventh of the scale, no matter what the scale is. Lower that seven, you get a D7, or a dominant seven. And there's a resolution associated with that that we're not doing right now. D minor 7, you flat the 3rd. D minor 7 flat 5, you flat the 5th. And finally, D diminished 7, you flat the top as well. The D minor scale, in, measures, in measure 34, you play all white notes. But D is flat. Very, very easy scale. And so on. Two octaves, of course. And the arpeggio. And that's it. So, you've already had, when I see you next, that's the third class already. And for the fourth class, you're still on C and D. So that's pretty easy, because the, the, the midterm is March 9th, and you'll be responsible for the C, D, E, F. It counts for a lot. The scales count a lot. It's not just the music. 
Once we get to February 23rd, we start the book, and then we fly. So if you struggle by the 23rd, life's going to get very, 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 very difficult. More varies, and tons of varies to add to that. Because stay with the program, and we, we, we get the actual book. It'll be a cinch. Okay, and again, if anyone has any troubles, you call me, email me, text me. I don't care how you do it, and I'll always work with you. This past weekend, last weekend, um, I had uh, six people on a Saturday and a bunch of people on a Sunday. I've got how many. So take advantage of that. Don't just be shy and say, well, I'll get it. Because some of you aren't getting it. Okay, that's it for today.